Anaphylaxis, also known as severe allergic reaction, hypersensitivity reaction, anaphylactic shock and allergic shock. Detailed video on anaphylaxis, do's, don't, exactly what to do 1. Overview. 2. Key facts. 3. Specialist to visit. 4. Causes of anaphylaxis. 5. Symptoms of anaphylaxis. 6. Risk factors of anaphylaxis. 7. Diagnosis of anaphylaxis. 8. Prevention of anaphylaxis. 9. Treatment of anaphylaxis. 10. Complications of anaphylaxis. Overview, anaphylaxis is a severe, life-threatening allergic reaction that can affect multiple systems of the body at the same time. Common triggers of this reaction include certain foods, insect stings, some medications, or latex. However, anaphylaxis is rare. The majority of people, even those with allergies, might never suffer from an episode of anaphylaxis. The symptoms of anaphylaxis include tongue swelling, vomiting, difficulty in breathing, mental confusion and even shock. These symptoms occur due to overreaction of the immune system. People with allergies, asthma and a family history of anaphylaxis are at a higher risk of anaphylaxis. If someone is at a higher risk or has a known serious allergy, avoidance is the best form of treatment. Anaphylaxis requires immediate medical treatment because if it is not treated timely or properly, it can be fatal. If someone has a history of a serious allergic reaction, it is important to always carry an adrenaline epinephrine kit. Accurate diagnosis and successful management of allergies is essential to prevent any anaphylactic reactions in the future. An allergist or immunologist has specialized training and experience to diagnose the problem and develop a prevention plan. Key facts, usually seen in infants between 0 to 2 years of age. Body parts involved, skin, respiratory system, gastrointestinal system, cardiovascular system, central nervous system. Mimicking conditions, acute asthma, perimenopause, syncope, faint, carcinoid syndrome, anxiety slash panic attack, autonomic epilepsy, acute generalized urticaria, medullary carcinoma of the thyroid, aspiration of a foreign body, non-organic disease, myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism, vocal cord dysfunction, seizure, cerebrovascular event, hyperventilation, psychosomatic episode, scombroidosis shock, pollen food allergy syndrome, hypovolemic shock, sulfites distributed, food poisoning, sepsis, excess endogenous histamine, non-allergic angioedema, basophilic leukemia, hereditary angioedema types 1, 2, AMP, 3, ACE inhibitor associated angioedema, systemic capillary leak syndrome, red man syndrome, vancomycin, pheochromocytoma, paradoxical response. Necessary health tests slash imaging, laboratory tests, skin prick testing, serum specific EGA, and serum enzyme tryptase. Treatment, alpha adrenergic receptor, adrenaline, antihistamine, diphenhydramine or cetirizine, vasopressors, norepinephrine, vasopressin, beta antagonists, glucocorticosteroids. Specialists to consult, general physician, allergist, immunologist. Symptoms of anaphylaxis, as anaphylaxis is a generalized systemic reaction, a wide variety of clinical signs and symptoms involving the skin, gastrointestinal and respiratory tracts, and cardiovascular system can be observed. The most common clinical manifestations include cutaneous, skin, symptoms, red, hot, and itchy rashes, pale and cold skin, urticaria, skin rashes, respiratory symptoms, wheezing, strider, high-pitched sound on respiration, difficulty in breathing, gasping, bronchospasm, tightness of muscles lining the lungs, cardiovascular symptoms, tachycardia, increased heart rate, hypotension, low blood pressure, bradycardia, decreased heart rate. GI symptoms, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, neurological symptoms, lightheadedness, confusion, loss of consciousness. Conjunctival, eye, symptoms, erythema, redness, pruritus, itching, excessive tearing, other symptoms, sense of impending doom, tingling, anxiety, metallic taste in the mouth, laryngeal edema, swelling in the throat, uterine cramps and bleeding. Causes of anaphylaxis, anaphylaxis is generally caused by triggers and it's very important to know what triggered the reaction. The most common triggers include, 1. Food. Food allergies are quite common and in severe cases, they can precipitate an anaphylactic reaction. Common food items that can cause anaphylaxis include, 
peanuts, walnuts, pecans, fish, shellfish, cow's milk, eggs, red meat, prawns, shrimps, lobster. 2. Medications When your immune system mistakenly identifies a medication as a harmful substance, it will develop an antibody specific to the drug leading to an allergic reaction. Medications that can cause anaphylaxis include, antibiotics, penicillin, cephalosporin, other antibiotics, NSAIDs, diclofenac, disprin, paracetamol, drugs used in anesthesia, eugenol, muscle relaxants, beta-adrenergic blocker, ACE inhibitor. 3. Latex, latex allergy may cause itchy skin and hives or even anaphylaxis, a potentially life-threatening condition that can cause throat swelling and severe difficulty breathing. It is generally used in the following, disposable gloves, intravenous tubes, syringes, adhesive tapes, catheters. 4. Insect stings, episodes of anaphylaxis can also occur following insect stings or bites. Insects that are most likely to trigger anaphylaxis are, bees, wasps, hornets, yellow jackets, fire ants. 5. Vaccines, some patients can also develop anaphylaxis following immunization. The majority of cases of vaccine-associated anaphylaxis include vaccination from measles, mumps, and rubella, MMR, vaccine, Japanese encephalitis vaccine, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, DPT, hepatitis A and B vaccine. Risk factors for anaphylaxis Anaphylaxis is a life-threatening type high hypersensitivity reaction, triggered by exposure to a wide range of antigens that involve multiple organ systems. Risk factors for anaphylaxis include, 1. Cardiovascular diseases, 2. Asthma, 3. Mastocytosis, 4. Age, 5. Previous anaphylactic reaction, 6. Gender, 7. Alcohol, 8. Exercise. Prevention of anaphylaxis. If you have a serious allergy or have experienced anaphylaxis in the past, it's important to try to prevent any future episodes. It can be done by keeping the following things in mind. 1. Food. 2. Insect stings. 3. Medicines. Always carry adrenaline auto-injectors. 1. Always carry two and date auto-injectors at all times. 2. Make sure you and any caregivers know when and how to use your auto-injector. 3. Check the expiry date regularly and replace it before it expires. 4. Do not delay injecting yourself if you think you may be experiencing anaphylaxis. Try allergy shots, immunotherapy. Treatment of anaphylaxis The treatment of anaphylaxis depends upon the ability of the patient to describe the situation but if the patient is unconscious or not properly conscious, understanding the symptoms becomes important. Anaphylaxis treatment includes, medications, adrenaline, epinephrine. This is the first line of treatment recommended for patients with anaphylaxis. This drug can be life-saving as it plays an important role in delaying the progression of life-threatening reactions. Antihistamines Antihistamines reduce inflammation in air passages and also improve breathing. H1 antihistamines such as diphenhydramine or cetirizine can also relieve itching and hives. Beta antagonist They are used for airways protection and to relieve respiratory tract symptoms. Glucocorticoids Steroids Glucocorticoids are often recommended in anaphylaxis. They reduce the severity of the acute reaction and the risk of recurrence. For hospital based patients, patients who have been moved to a hospital set up and stabilized, the following agents are used activated charcoal, the solution is commonly used to treat poison victims, and also to treat people with peanut allergies. Drinking activated charcoal immediately after accidental exposure to peanuts can block further absorption of allergy-causing proteins in the body and reduce the severity of the allergic reaction. Vasopressors, norepinephrine, vasopressin and other pressors are helpful in patients suffering from anaphylaxis with refractory hypotension, persistent hypotension in resuscitated patients, glucagon, it is an anti-hypoglycemic used to manage and treat anaphylaxis refractory to epinephrine, and aid in passing food boluses. Intravenous fluids, these are administered to maintain adequate blood circulation. In case of emergency, if you are with someone who is having an allergic reaction with signs of anaphylaxis, here are things you need to do. Call the local medical emergency number immediately. See if the person is carrying an epinephrine auto injector, EpiPen, OBIQ, others, to treat an allergic attack. Help the person inject the medication by pressing the auto injector against the person's thigh. Make the person lie face up and be still. Loosen their tight clothing and cover the person with a blanket. Turn the person to the side to prevent choking if there's vomiting or bleeding from the mouth. 
Position the patient in the Trendelenburg position i.e. lying flat on the back with legs elevated in order to allow blood flow to the heart. If there are no signs of breathing, coughing or movement, begin CPR, start uninterrupted chest presses about 100 every minute. Complications of anaphylaxis Anaphylactic shock is an extremely serious condition that can block your airways and prevent you from breathing. It can also stop your heart. This is due to the decrease in blood pressure that prevents the heart from receiving enough oxygen. The complications of anaphylaxis include, cerebral hypoxia, acute renal failure, fetal death, septic shock, acute respiratory distress syndrome, abnormal coagulation profile, pulmonary edema, arrhythmia, abnormal liver function. Eight nine healthify world. It's all about health, wealth, and care. By Kunal Rao Rani.